Okay. All right. So this variable over here contains our JSON string now. So let's go in our browser and actually start testing this out. So basically, we're actually going to test it without actually um, using any HTML or JavaScript to call it AJAX wise. So let's um, echo that out here and see what happens. So in our page over here, we have um, we are we've loaded into the URL advanced PHP AJAX.php file. So this query string is what that page will accept. So we're telling it we want to load the first page and we want two items on that page. So when I press enter, that goes into the page and we get an error, all right? So let's see what happens. It says on line 96, null, undefined variable resolve. Let's go there and see what happens. Yes, it seems like I did call this results. So we refresh and yes, as you can see, it has loaded data and this is what JSON looks like. So this is being produced by this echo statement over here since we've converted the array into JSON and then echoed it out. So let's go ahead and just change this page one. Let's change it to page two. We'll get a different set of results. So if you notice, um, we are on um, the third post, fourth post and So next we should actually be actually we do have an error here somewhere it seems like it's we said start on page one it is starting on page two because page one should have zero and sorry it should have one and second post so let's go ahead and try to fix that okay let's see what the problem is right so apparently we need a negative one over here and the reason for that is since um java sorry php array counting starts at zero but we're passing um page numbers starting at one so we need to say minus one so that we can start counting a bit one number backwards All right so let's just load this page so we want page one and we want two items on that page so press enter and we got an item post first post and second post so let's move this to page two you get third and fourth Press enter as you can see we get in third post and we get in fourth post all right okay guys so let me just show you one more thing let's just make this sleep for two seconds so that page will have a delay anytime that we call it so when I refresh this it should pause you see the URL loading and then after two seconds everything works as it's supposed to okay all right guys so this video is getting a bit long um, that's in this video we had a look at how to set up um, a fake database and then export all the items in the database and then print that out as a json string as you can see over here and in the next video we're going to see how we'll set up our javascript so we can call into this page dynamically and get the required data that we need to um, show on our pagination page all right so guys there you have it this is lami sani of elswat and i hope to see you in the next video and please rate and subscribe if this video was helpful and thanks for watching i'll see you bye bye